We're here on Merrill Hill, Sunday River's newest real estate development overlooking the Jordan Bowl. July has been an extremely busy month for the team getting ready to build the new Jordan 8. Teams from Doppelmayr are busy assembling the towers in lot five. The earthwork is all done at the top and we've begun pouring the mast and the foundations at the bottom of the Jordan Bowl. There's been a lot of speculation about the sequencing of our lifts here at Sunday River and which lifts we put in. So I just wanted to set the record completely straight. Full disclosure, Jordan wasn't ahead of Barker in our sequencing originally. Then we had a COO come in 2018 and spend a couple of days at Sunday River during one of those bad wind hole days and looked at me and said, we cannot have a major lift like the Jordan go down. It changes the entire resort when it does. You need to put that lift in place at the Jordan first, and then we'll sequence Barker after that. So from that point, we wanted to find a lift that was gonna run in the wind. I can assure you that this lift will run in, in conditions that people aren't comfortable skiing in. It's not only gonna reduce the number of days that that lift is down due to wind, uh, but it's gonna make a much better experience getting from one side of this resort to the other. Guests are immediately gonna notice that this lift doesn't even look like any other lift they've seen. You're gonna ski up to this lift, and rather than just being this canopy lift terminal, it's gonna be a beautiful building. First wow is they'll ski up to an automated gate and they'll see a magic carpet in front of them. They're gonna be delivered on that magic carpet to a loading platform. Have a little kid with you, worried about getting that kid into the chair, no problem. The lift operator pushes a button, everybody's gonna come up six inches. Get on that lift, the first thing you're gonna notice, wow, I've got room. The seats are individual. Then you're gonna lower a bubble, a Sunday River Red bubble. One of a kind, no other lift has that color in the world. And as you leave the terminal, you'll start to notice Wow, my rear end feels warm. Yep, heated seats, first in Maine. As you ride up, you're gonna notice that it's super quiet. You're gonna be able to have conversations and you're not gonna feel the constant bouncing and rattling that you normally would as you go over towers. As we get to the top, you're gonna to enter the terminal and the lap bar and the bubble will automatically come up just prior to unloading. So all these things combined really are going to create a lift experience that is truly memorable. Most of us don't ever remember lift experiences, we remember the skiing. Now you're going to go home, you're going to talk about the wonderful skiing and all the other experiences that you had at Sunday River, but you will remember this lift is probably the coolest ski lift you've ever ridden. You know, in my 38 years in the ski industry, if everything we've ridden to get to the top of the mountain is called a ski lift, we ought to call this something else. It isn't even in the same class. The experience is incredible, and our team can't wait to share it with you this winter.